what's up YouTube? It's Kim and it is way in Wednesday. It was a great way in today. I was down 0 0.8. Yay! So that brings my total to 83.2 or 0.4. I think it's 83.2 pounds lost. So that is awesome. I am on a roll. That is three good weeks in a row. I had a spectacular week. I was tracking everything. I made great choices with my food. I got my activity in. I got my 10k a day. Did some Leslie Sansome. So it was a great week. I felt really good about my week. And I just feel smaller, you know? I feel like I, I got some bones going on. Look guys, I got, I got a bone here. I didn't know I had bones. And then the weirdest thing last night, I'm sitting at the table and it's like a wood chair and I like move and I like felt a bone in my butt. Like what? I don't know, is that a hip bone, a butt bone? I don't know, but I got a bone in my butt, y'all. That didn't sound too good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I am feeling so great and I had a fantastic week, like I said, so I'm glad the scale reflected it. So I will take a 0.8 loss all day, every day. And like I said, I, I'm just feeling smaller, so I wanted to redo my measurements and it's amazing. Um, I haven't done my, I took my measurements a few months ago, which I didn't get a chance to share them, um, in a video, so I'm going to share with you how many inches I'm down since the last time I shared with you guys which was in November and since then my waist is down three inches my hips are down four inches which that's my trouble area my my you know my double belly and my hips so that's awesome my chest is down three inches and I can really tell like my boobs are going like bye bye which I am fine with take them take them my neck was down a whole inch and I really, I definitely can tell when I wear necklaces, you know, they're hanging longer. My right arm down an inch and a half, left arm down two inches, right thigh down two inches, left thigh down two inches. So it's so cool to see it, see the numbers go down on the scale, but then to see the number, like the, your actual body measurements go down is so cool. Um, so my total inches lost since I started, and thank you Lori so much for pushing me to take my measurements the week we started back in 2014. I am down a total of 50.5 inches. Eight from my waist, nine from my hips, nine from my chest, two and a half from my neck, five from both arms, six from both thighs. So, wow. That is so amazing. And it's so cool to just feel it you know like people can say oh you look great and but when you actually feel it yourself and see it yourself it's 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 indescribable it makes all the hard work worth it so I wanted to just talk about that I am so thankful that I have found the secret to weight loss I am 36 years old and I am just so glad that I know that the secret is hard work. The secret is eating well, portioning your food, and getting activity in. I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, she's an organization lady, and she had a video and she had lost weight. I'm like, ooh, she looks great. What did she do? Three shakes a day. She lost 35 pounds in three months. Of course you're gonna lose that much weight eating three shakes a day. But when you start eating food again, that weight is gonna come right back. And I just, I'm done with fad diets. I'm done with quick fixes. I am so happy to have found a lifestyle that I truly, truly feel like, yes, it's gonna be hard, but I need to continue on with this lifestyle for the rest of my life and I'm okay with that I am committed to that so anyone who is doing a life a diet 
that you're like, oh, I can't wait till this is over. Guys, it's not going to work long term. Definitely find, change your lifestyle to something you can live with. I personally, for me, of course, love Weight Watchers and, you know, think it's fantastic. But I know there's other programs out there and lifestyles that people can live and be successful on. But you have to embrace the fact that you're going to be doing that for the rest of your life. Or else, unfortunately, the weight is going to come back. So just like my dad, my dad is going to be 70 next month and he has been on a low carb lifestyle over 10 years now and he is like a beast. He has a six pack, he works out two hours a day, three days a week. I mean he looks fantastic. All his blood numbers are fantastic and that works for him. Uh, Suzanne over at Keto Karma has adopted the keto lifestyle. She's over 100 pounds down. She says she's going to be doing that lifestyle the rest of her life. So there's plenty of lifestyles you can choose, but you just need to choose one that you personally can continue on with the rest of your life. That's the only way you're going to have long-term success. So I'm just so glad that I'm done with the fad diets because been there, done that. And I just know that I just need to keep on doing my thing. And I want to encourage you to find something that you, that you love, you know, that a lifestyle that you feel great in, that you feel like you can sustain for the rest of your life. Because that really is the secret. It, it's not, you know, oh, you know, I want to lose 100 pounds in a year. Some people do that. That's amazing. But are you going to be able to maintain that the rest of your life? Just saying. I don't know, but I'm just watching that video of that YouTuber, I was just like, oh, I'm so glad that I'm not tempted by these shakes and pills and quick fixes. So, yeah, just had to get that out there. So happy I know the secret, and I know all of you guys know the secret as well. Um, the topic at this week's meeting was love your summer so it was all about summer savoring summer we had a cool activity where she gave us each a piece of fruit she had blueberries blackberries i picked a piece of blackberry she asked us to smell the blackberry taste uh, touch the blackberry put it in our mouth but don't bite it and then bite the blackberry listen to the sound it makes and then slowly you know, let it melt in your mouth and truly taste it because when we're eating, and I'm so guilty of this, I am not focused too much really on my food for the most part. I'm thinking about what I need to do, where I need to go. I'm rushing, rushing, rushing. So it was a cool activity to actually sit there and, you know, think about and taste this fruit. So in the weekly on the first page, they have the activity to do that kind of sensory activity. So I'm going to put the link to this week's weekly in the down box. Check it out if you want to check that out. And I want to know what's going on with your summer. Are you having a great summer? What are you doing that you love? I personally love going in the pool. I love going to the beach. I love swimming with my daughter getting together with friends. I'm so glad that I've had so many opportunities to see some of my best friends so many times and I'm just loving life. So I'm doing great guys. I hope everybody out there is having a great week and as always stay fit and fabulous. Bye!